Destroyer 2018 crime thriller starring Nicole Kidman, who is almost unrecognizable in the role of Erin Bell, a former FBI agent and now a police detective in Los Angeles. When we meet her, she is a middle-aged woman uh, ravaged by life. She's a complete mess, constantly drunk or hungover, unreliable, unkempt, dirty, tired, emotionally and mentally scarred by whatever happened to her in the past, uh, to the point that she doesn't seem to care about anything or anyone, including her estranged teenage daughter. That is until one day a corpse is found, um, together with a couple of hundred dollar bill, bills marked with the purple paint used to prevent bank robberies. Erin then gets a similar bill sent to her via post, and it clearly means something to her. She goes off on her own investigating the case and reconnecting with people from her past, and through flashbacks we are shown what happened 16 years ago, how Erin went from an aspiring FBI agent uh, to the wreck that she is now, and what personal connection she has to the bills and the people behind them. So, as I said in the beginning, the movie is primarily a crime thriller, but and it's very good at that, with the, with the way it slowly reveals its secrets and also builds the mystery around the story and around the central character. But it is also a character study, with Kidman playing the central role, and let me say this, the movie stands on her performance. Uh, it's very unlike anything she's done before. She's changed physically for the role. She looks haggard and broken and very slim, and that blurs the line between actor and character for me, which, which she ends up inhabiting completely. Between the tone of the story and the way the protagonist um, is really an anti-hero, or you could even make a case a straight villain, Destroyer made me think of Nightcrawler and Joker. Like Gyllenhaal and like Phoenix in those two films, Kidman here is fantastic. I completely bought every aspect of her character and didn't, didn't doubt her for one second. Um, the supporting cast is also quite good, with uh, Sebastian Stan and Toby Kebbell being the most notable actors. I liked the way the movie is shot and I liked its score. Uh, in this case, it reminded me of Sicario a little bit, with uh, the music constantly suggesting that we're just seconds away from something terrible happening. While I was watching it, I thought that there were some pacing, pacing issues in the middle and as it was coming to an end, I was preparing for disappointment because it seemed like it would wrap up the story in a pretty conventional and generic way. But then the way it is actually resolved shocked me in a good way. Um, the ending is unexpected and kind of flips the story around and retroactively makes all the things before it slightly more satisfying. So overall, great character piece and a solid thriller at that.